Charlie's Hot Pots peeps. What's up? Welcome back to another exciting episode in cooking in Charlie's Hot Pot. So today we're going to be doing my signature baked chicken. Everybody loves my baked chicken because when I do it, it's soft, nice, melts away in your mouth, melt away in your mouth. Hear that? So I'm going to show you what I'm using. I'm just going to use the leg quarters today. There we go. <laughs> Don't be afraid, camera. Let's show them what we're using in Tommy's output today. So, sorry about that. Well, I'm going to catch everything. So, I'm going to be using uh, chicken leg quarters, Purdue. Um... It's not a lot of us, so we're going to get two, four, six, eight, eight pieces of chicken leg and thigh. And then for my seasoning, I'm going to clean that up. You'll see how I clean it up. For my seasoning, I'll be using the Saison Maggie Complete Seasoning. It's really, really lovely. I feel I've had a purpose, Maggie. And then <laughs> some Maggie Natural Seasoning. And then, yes, my granulated onion powder and garlic powder. So let's start cleaning up my cleaning up the chicken chicken <laughs> So here we go, we have our chicken clean and nice. Just going to pat them dry with um, the napkin. Yeah. I'll just squeeze them already, so I'll just pat them dry. And then, I'm going to add my seasonings. So as I say, for this eight pieces of leg quarters, I'm actually just going to use a tablespoon of seasoning. I do love a lot of seasoning in my food. And this Maggi Saison, it's really, really lovely. But you can use um, a teaspoon. Every The small, the small amount that you can use, you go down in the seasoning, okay? So, let me just dash the seasoning there, so. And... For me, I just use this as a tablespoon instead of mess up everything. One of that. Tablespoon of that. And garlic. Tablespoon. Onions, powder, tablespoon, and then I'm going to grate some garlic. Yes, I said it. I'm going to grate some garlic. I love garlic. I really do love garlic. So, because I want it, I'm going to cook it now. Normally, I normally just um. Season it from overnight. I always marinate my chicken from the day before. Because I like when the seasoning really, really, really soaking it. Soaking at the bone. Because I am a bone person. So I'll just use one peg of garlic. And I will grate it. Yes, that's my utensil draw. So I'll grate it inside. Be careful now. So fast, me. I'm going to just slip out of my hand. I'm going to scrape it off and then the trick in me getting the seasoning to soak in the bone if I'm just going to do it because I'm going to let this marinate for about 45 minutes I just take my knife and just stab it Get each one two two stab all right 
and then I'm going to add a little browning a small amount maybe a teaspoon because I want the chicken to come out brown so just a teaspoon of browning there you go not a lot you know what you want it black now huh so I'm rub it up It's nice to use your gloves when you're cooking because guess what? I want everything to reach everywhere, the bone everywhere when I season up my chicken. And I use no spoon. For no one being careful myself, I can use spoon, but may I use my hand. Rub it in the pieces and everything. Mm. Smell good? My God. Mm. this I'm gonna cover that for 45 minutes get a clean thin paper oh my god I travel with the pass of fire and if you in the cafe Right up, put it on side, leave it for 45 minutes, and then I'm just gonna make my sauce and get my stuff to make my sauce. Show you how it's done. Let's go. So, starting with my sauce, I had one tablespoon of butter and one cup of sugar. So I have it on low heat and I'm going to add some agave is really sweet so careful put one teaspoon and I'm going to go with one cup of ketchup a little bit and then I'm, I'm using one old lime so I'm just squeezing it here as I said clean up you don't want to be prepping everything and then you have a lot of cleanup to do so me this is how I go about because I don't want a lot of cleanup okay Mm. Looks good. When it starts to bubble up now, you turn it down because you don't want it to quickly dry out. I'm going to add a little barbecue sauce to it a little bit a little bit a little bit mm. you don't want the overpouring barbecue taste don't worry my have more barbecue sauce you know with Jamaicans you have to import everything finished so one one tablespoon is fine. But I don't want to have an overpouring barbecue taste. Mm. Then go ahead and put some garlic powder and stuff in this. Even though your chicken season already, you still want to have want it to have a lot of sweet spicy tangy taste 
Mm. This is good. Wow. Wow. Mm, that's nice. Sauce that bum of a place. That's a half a tablespoon garlic powder. And if you want a spicy, spicy sauce, you can drop a scotch bonnet in it. Or you can put some chili flakes. I'm going to put some chili flakes in it. It's not going to be extra spicy. As I say, Tali's hot pots. Cooking off the hot. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to say thank you for all those who have liked, watch, and share my video, my videos. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We have a lot of good things coming up. The good things them, you know. Just want to say thank you. And as I said before, if there's anything that you want to see me cook, you can go ahead and let me know you know try it out together see see your sauce is coming together nice so you're going to turn it down and let it simmer so this is our sauce for our baked chicken pretty simple and nice saucy 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 so my peeps we are going to Preheat our oven. So I always start my oven at four. Sorry, at four hundred. But um, this is a different oven. That's when I was using the electric oven. So this one is the gas one. So I'm just going to bring it at three ninety five. Just take five off it. Preheat the oven. So let me start. Three ninety five. So that's pre-eating and then I am going to place my chicken on my baking tin. No, I love this baking tin. Why? When the chicken bakes all the water that's um the grease and everything is going to be down in the pan. I'm going to use that to make the gravy. I'll show you. So I like to use this one with the grill. Any baking pan is fine. So yeah, that's my oven going on there. Place them on the pan. Nice and easy. Smells really good. You want everything to pull, you don't want it to itch. Give them space, but they don't stick up on each other. There you go. Put a thing right here. No, I don't put the sauce on the chicken yet. I actually put this in the oven for 10 minutes and then when I take it out I put I base it I put the sauce on it base it oh it smells really good so I'll go ahead put it in the oven for 10 minutes and when it's Ready, I'll take it out and I will continue to paint it with my sauce every every 10 minutes. 
every 10 minutes I bake it um, every 10 minutes it's baking I base it with the sauce this is my paintbrush I have that on but I do love this paintbrush it's fine and I think um, it spread the sauce better so let's get this out so we'll come back in another 10 minutes guys hello guys welcome back so the chicken has been in the oven for 10 minutes already I'm just going to take it out and start basing it make sure not have them something you know you burn it up I don't know why I get burned around here oh you can hear it you can smell it see it's a bit dry and it starts getting crispy see nice see the water coming out already so it starts let me get this one start painting our chicken So well, this chicken will actually take one hour and 45 minutes to bake. Why? I do like my chicken very soft. And you know, me I'm one person, I'm gonna throw my whole name like, there's no tomorrow. I want to ensure that we paint every side. We're going to flip them. Ensure you flip them when this get really brown and caramelized. So. See this nice color it's giving it? The sauce. Trust me. Everything not the sauce and the seasoning. Remember that. We're going to cover this in a boat. Um, on the third, up on the third time that we're going to base it. So this is the first paint shop and important information while the chicken is cooking and you realize that it's getting soft we're going to come down under oven temperature okay so we're still at 395 for now but we'll come down gradually put it back in there for another 15 minutes okay and that will be continuing doing that until one hour and 45 minutes is up and the chicken is baked hey guys welcome back so this is the third time um, I'm going to base this so this will be, I'll show you the end product. So this is what I'm going to do. Just paint it. Remember to flip it. I'm going to flip it on the fourth time, but um, I'm gonna cover it now with the foil paper. I'll show you. You see the nice color it has. I don't like when my chicken is all black and everything. 
plus the sugar that we use is already caramelizing and it's getting darker so so after i cover this i'm going to let it stay Try not to let the fried chicken go down on the chicken. So it's a bit hot, so careful. Just to chop some steam inside so it will cook throughout. And then I'll put it back for another 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to turn it and cover it. Turn it basic and cover it. So here we go again. So as you can see, the bee chicken is done very soft very tender look at it look at it wow 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 nice 